Okay. Okay, so we're looking at our first coronal slice of the brain here. So things to note include the cortex, the bark of the brain, the gray matter all around here. Then we have the white matter tracts coming in. The white matter tracts form the corona radiata. As they come in and cross over, this is the corpus callosum right here. It's a little hard to see because I think we're probably a little bit ventral here, but, sorry, we're a little caudal here, but I'm delineating with the stick kind of the butterfly shape of the lateral ventricles here. So once you found the corpus callosum, you found the lateral ventricles, and they form this butterfly shape. Forming the lateral wall of the lateral ventricles is going to be the caudate. Then coming in a little bit, we can see it gets a little bit wider and stripier as we move out. That's the internal capsule. Once you move past the internal capsule, you have the putamen. And then if you move um, more ventral and more medial, you have the globus pallidus. Okay? So those three together, caudate, putamen, and globus pallidus, make up the basal ganglia. Caudate and putamen together make up the striatum. If we turn back to the lateral ventricles, and we look at the butterfly shape of them, forming kind of the legs of the butterfly is this midline structure. This is this, these are the septal nuclei. In this view, unfortunately, I think we got a little bit off of where we were meant to make the cut, so we don't see the anterior commissure. Uh, but if we did see the anterior commissure, it would be uh, down in this region here. And that is it.